Good morning. We're pulling into Cozumel right now. And we are going to do another all-inclusive beach resort. And this time it's gonna be Nachi Kakom. So we've been told by several people that we gotta go try that one. We've been to Mr. Sancho's, we like Mr. Sancho's. We've been to Paradise Beach, we like that even a little bit better. And they said, well, if you like those two, you gotta try Nachi Kakom. So we're going to try that one this morning. We're gonna kind of compare the three, see which one is our favorite. So that ought to be interesting. It's a beautiful day, the sun is up. It's not really hot this morning. It's a nice cool morning. It's not too windy, the seas are calm. It's gonna be a great day in Cozumel. This is the prettiest gangway I've ever seen on a ship. You're foggy. Oh no. We are off the ship, finally. First time off the ship this uh, trip. Yep. And let me just say, it is a really nice, cool day. Oh God, this yeah. is crazy how nice and cool it is. Nice breeze. Like it's it, it, amazing. Of course, we're in the shade, nestled in between these two beautiful ships. I'm looking forward to Nachi. Yeah, something different this time. Something completely different this time. We like trying all the different beach clubs. So we get to compare. Yeah, so we've been to Mr. Sancho's, we've been to Paradise Beach, now Nachi Kakom. And uh, it's, I'm looking forward to see which one we like the best after mm -hmm. doing all three. Right now, Paradise Beach is, is ahead, is winning. So it looks like we got, well, this Oasis of the Seas here. We got our ship, Celebrity Apex. We got the Ada Diva. And then who is that over Marvel there? The Valor. The Valor is over there. Man, we're at the Royal Caribbean port and it's a nice little stroll to the taxi area. I'll tell you what, you come back in too drunk, you might not find your way back to the ship. Kind of zigzags through port there. It sure does. We're just waiting for our taxi now. Thank you, man. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, Hello good hola. How are you today? Very good. How are you, You're sir? I'm fine, too. You are ready for something to drink? Yes. Pina colada, margarita, tequila sunrise, rum punch, Bahama Mama, Judy Monkey, Long Island, beer, soft drinks, water. I'll take a uh, soul. Soul beer. Um, I would like uh, a pina colada, please. All right. We're set. This Tells is our spot, out. For, the this is day, our spot huh? for the day. The sand is cool on my feet. You can tell, like, I don't know, the sand feels like damp. Like it recently rained and it's just cool. Oh, it feels so nice. It's a nice, cool day. It's a beautiful day. The temperature is fantastic. So, this, this resort Ugh. automatically, first impression, it's smaller. Yeah, this is a much, much smaller resort, so it's gonna be quieter, more intimate. It's definitely more gonna be laid back. Our yeah. taxi driver said it's gonna be more relaxing. laid back and relaxing, but it's very beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no beach toys here. This is really just for chilling, relaxing, you know. Sitting right there. Sitting right here, so getting a excursion. pina colada, getting some good food later. Yeah, one of the employees, Mr. David, came by and he sells excursions for the all-inclusive resort here at Nachi. And they got snorkeling and kayaking and all kind of different things if you want to purchase them. Of course, I am like one-armed Willie here, so I will not be partaking in any of that. The only thing I will be partaking in is drinking beer. Beer curls. 
12 ounce curls, y'all. That's my therapy for today. <laughs> Welcome, my name is Manuel. I've been your waiter. I help you all day with drinks and food. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you. Hey, you're dark. You're like a silhouette to me. Oh, well, let me come over here. Okay, so my legs are covered in chill bumps right now. That's never happened in Mexico before. <laughs> it's chilly. But I have a pina colada to start the day. Mmm, that's good. I did not get a giant pina colada like we got <laughs> last time. Stick with the small ones. Yeah, this is our spot for today. This is going to be A-OK -okay with me. Oh my god, the, about wa Nachi. the water is crystal clear. It is I definitely mean, some of the clearest water we've seen on this stretch. So I'm curious if it's the weather that affects that because last time we were here it was raining the morning of and maybe that cloudied up the water. Well, I think it's that a little bit, but also it's early in the morning and there's not a lot of people here stirring True. the sand up in the water yet. Yeah. So they'll get when you get a lot of people in there, it stirs all the yep. the sand up and it looks murky. So yeah. right now you're seeing it in its true calm form. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. It is clear. Clear as a bell. You know what guys, all I can think of as I'm staring off from the wild blue yonder in this beautiful turquoise water is if you're not subscribed to our channel, you should be. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, all right? Hit that notification bell so you're notified of all our videos. We post at least two or three every single week. Come join us. We'd love to have you run around with us and all our shenanigans. Good skip. I think that was really the only like really good skipping. Oh, you found another one? That skipped like four times. Yeah. So we walk back to our little area here and a nice little surprise. My beer, oh, can you see me now? My beer has been replenished. So while I was out there, I had put an empty beer on the table and I came back to a full one. That's nice. That's service. Why can't it be like that all the time? <laughs> So we have posted up here at the little tiki bar, um, right by our little spot where we've been sitting, and we're about to eat. We just ordered some food. I got some grilled shrimp. I got some wings. Elisa got quesadilla and fajitas. Fajitas. But you also got quesadilla. Yes, I did. I got both. And we are drinking. Elisa is drinking many of these. These are pina colada. And this is Tecate Light. And, and what look else at, are you drinking? Oh, water. <laughs> because hydrate. Water before beer, you're in the clear. <laughs> Some people say it's no, you got it wrong, it's whiskey before beer. I'm like, dude, you don't know what whiskey does to me. So <laughs> that's out of the equation. Water before beer and you're in the clear. Anyway, but look at our view. Pretty amazing. The food is here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is the buffalo sauce. They serve your buffalo wings like this. They give you just fried wings. I just bit into one. They're small, but they're fried really well. Maybe you gotta hit it like the Heinz 57 bottle. Salsa picante, buffalo. 
center thing. You give it a little dippy dip. Not your traditional buffalo. What the hell? That's good. I decided to go with the grilled shrimp. Mm. Fresh pico. Wash it down with a tecate light. Oh, not a bad way to spend the day. All right, I have got chicken quesadilla, and I'm gonna add some of that pico to it. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Lots of chicken in there. Very well flavored. Good melty cheese. And with that fresh pico on top. Oh yeah. This is gonna be good. And then I have the mixed fajitas. So it's chicken, beef, and vegetables. And then they bring you tortillas so you can build your own fajita. Spicy. That's really good. That beef's well flavored. The chicken's well flavored. Very good. That'll light you up. That's not going to feel good later. <laughs> so it was really hard for me to decide if I like the chicken quesadilla or the fajitas better. But I think I've decided I like the chicken quesadilla with a bit of this pico on it. Did you get more wings? I did. Jesus. And this is not your traditional tasting buffalo sauce like we're used to. Traditional buffalo sauce is basically Frank's Red Hot and butter. You don't really need anything more than that. Anything more than that is just extra. You could put some Worcestershire sauce, maybe some garlic in there. Get as crazy as you want, but it's not needed. This tastes like a Chipotle sauce, but it's good. But I'm gonna tell you something. This is gonna sound crazy, it's all get out, right? That wing is freshly fried. I checked into it, it's fried, fresh, right here. It is cooked to perfection. I have eat wings all the time, every single week, for I can't tell you how many years. Probably gonna be the death of me. But what I'm trying to say is this, this wing is cooked better than any Buffalo Wild Wings, Hooters, any place I've ever had. Wings to stop, wings to go, whatever. This is a perfectly cooked wing. Look at it. There's your drum. There's your flap. Little bitty, little bitty old baby wings. If only I had traditional buffalo sauce on this, it would be the ultimate wing. I actually prefer to eat a whole bunch of little small wings than a little bit of the big wings. It's more pleasurable for me. I'm getting used to the chipotle sauce, but I could take a lesson from these guys on how to fry chicken. Oh yeah, no doubt. Perfect bite, very crispy. The chicken is juicy still on the inside, not dry at all. Mm. Well done guys. That's got a heavy rum floater on the top, so I gotta be careful with this. That's strong, but it, it's strong. It's yeah. good. That's probably like 80% alcohol right there. I've been there. waiting to hear that all day. <laughs> Cheers to me. Cheers. So it is time for us to go get in the water. The water looks so pretty. Drink in hand, toes in the sand, going to get into the Caribbean. Oh. How's it feel, honey? It's a bit chilly. 
Is it? Yes, it is. Well, it is February. It's making me a bit nipply. Nipply. <laughs> we may have to switch to the pool. So, I have a Mai Tai, I think he said. And I watched him make it, and he poured about that much rum into it. And then he put grenadine and a mixture of fruit juices, and then he put more rum on top. So, <laughs> my man. <laughs> so, needless to say, if you go up to the bar and ask the bartender directly to make you a drink instead of ordering one from the waiter, they take really good care of you. I just had to get the camera to show how completely clear this water is that I can pick up rocks with my toes and I can see what I'm picking up. So let me show you. Get over here. Look at that, see that? Look at that. This one's easy. Look at the bottom of it, it's very flat. <laughs> oh my God, it didn't skip. I swear he's been skipping these like crazy. There is a huge difference in temperature between my hand in here and my hand in here. This is the pool and it's quite chilly versus here. <laughs> this is nice and warm. Yeah, man. You know what else is nice and warm? It's not warm, that's cold. That's nice and warm. Oh yes, it, it warms the soul. Oh, okay. Look here, man. I got a beer right here in the Caribbean. Or yeah. Yeah, it's the Caribbean. <laughs> I can't cheers you all the way because my microphone's in the way. Anyway. We're having fun, man. We've been here for a little while. Long enough to kind of make sort of a conclusion. And I'm gonna say this, I really like it. It really boils down to what you're into and what you're looking for. If you're looking for something a little more intimate, a little more relaxed, kind of away from the beaten path of the hustle and the flow of all the people, then this place is for you. You know, if I had to pick one, I'm going to say Paradise Beach still. Yep, I agree. But we've had a really good time here. Yeah. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah. But definitely try them all for yourself. Yeah. Uh, because I would I would come to any of them again. No doubt about it. So Hello. You made, you made me go get the GoPro, but you're using the big camera. I like this place. It's chill. It's very chill. This is what I've noticed, or I'm just now noticing, there's not any loud... Wobble music. Right. Wobble baby, wobble baby. Boom, 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 boom. So when you come to Nachi Kakom, you're not going to get the whole booty rap music. And that's there's nothing wrong with that if you're in that mood. I'm not I'm not judging it. I'm just saying it is what it is. It doesn't exist here. There's a little tiny, tiny bit at the little tiki bar where you saw us eating lunch. But that's just authentic Mexican music. And it's very, very, very easy listening it's not loud and in your face so i would definitely recommend bringing like a little jbl or a little speaker of your own You're nesting up underneath your little cabana here and uh playing your music and zoning out man and doing it your way and having good vibes this this 
is definitely the place to do that. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Jason's heading for the hot tub. Come to the hot tub, honey. Okay. Uh oh. Now we have the hot tub completely to ourselves. We have been like chilling with some people and they're awesome. Uh, but they went to have lunch and we have it all to ourselves. I like this hot tub because it's not really hot, it's just warm. But let me tell you, when you get out of here and into that pool, that pool is freezing. Or at least it feels freezing after you've been in here. All right, so we are about to leave Nachi Kakom. And I will say this, I like it. I like it a lot. It's very small, it's very intimate. The only all-inclusive resort out of the three that we've talked about that has a hot tub and it's not that hot but it's hot enough I mean how hot do you need it in the Mexican mm -hmm. climate but that was cool to sit in a bubbly pool and look out and see this yes, that was, was pretty cool so they get a bonus point for that but I really enjoyed it I would definitely come back here you know you're with somebody that you're very close to and you, you enjoy spending time with and you just want to be alone and be private, this is the ultimate place to come. But uh, I love them all three. Mr. Sancho's is uh, number three. I'm going to say Paradise Beach is number one. And I'm going to say Nachi is number two for me. All right. Fair assessment. All right. So Paradise Beach for the win still. But all three cool in their own ways. Cheers. So I concur with Jason. It's been a great day here. Um, part of me is not even ready to leave, but I know it's about time. We've got to go get back on the ship. I've had a great day here and I would definitely come back. Um, if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell for all of our new videos because we'd love to have you stick around for more. And if you've been around for a while, tell a few friends about us. And we are heading back on the ship now. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Making a quick pit stop in a Margaritaville before we get back on the ship because we got Why? a little time because to kill. Because we heard Chris Stapleton. Good music playing. Much Go better play music than on the ship. Let me just say, the only reason we stopped here is because Chris Stapleton is rocking some of his beautiful Tennessee whiskey, and I need that for my soul right now. Well, I wasn't gonna get the souvenir glass, but I did. I blew out my flip-flop margarita. Yep, that's margarita. <laughs> Where are you from? It's okay. Everything good? Yes. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah. Ready. Oh, there we are. We're back. There we are. We disappeared for a while. The camera got really dark. Something told me, my intuitiveness said, you need to stop in at the Margaritaville and get a little bit of American culture right here. We, we needed some good music, didn't we? And yeah. we got it right here. We do. Um... Interesting fact, we're ready to get back on the ship. That's our line. This is our line. There's nobody in it but us, and that's the Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Seas line. Celebrity Apex rules right so now. So we're getting right on. They have to wait. <laughs> What's funny is we went through there, and it's a security. They check, scan your bags and everything. But then you come out the same hole, so it doesn't really matter which ship you're on. You're going through the same. So, hey, I'm grateful that there was no line for Celebrity, though, because we got right through. Observation and difference of cruise lines, okay? The Royal Caribbean ship is greeted with loud music and the Which fun. I like. Yeah, oh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's fun. And we're greeted with cold water and cold towels to cool off with after a hot day in Cosmo. Come on, celebrity, get it. Together. No, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I'm not complaining. Okay, this is really cool. We've been, I've dropped the, um, the window to listen to the music from Royal Caribbean and watching people board, but check this out. So you hear all the music, right? Watch when this thing goes up.
They're very quiet. That's insane. I can barely hear anything now. I can't either. That's really cool. I mean, these a, things are soundproof. It's really good soundproof. Ask and you shall receive custom pizza for Jason. You love me, really oh, love cool. me. Jason's eating carbs, so we're gonna make it as good as possible. Oh, look at that cheese. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. What are you doing now? So it's an, obviously tonight I've just decided to screw it on my diet. So I've had like a pizza, a full pizza and a half. Mm -hmm. Now I'm eating ice cream. And a bowl cream. of ramen. Yeah, boy, when I go off the deep end, boy, I go off the deep end. So that's, I'm going off the deep end. So now I'm on my ice cream and I, it's mint chocolate chip, like, you know, like I like, but it's got more flavor to it mm -hmm. that I'm not familiar with. It's really, really good. Like almost like pistachio. Some kind of nut? Something. It's really good. I tried it. Mmm. I get it. Jason's having a pig out night, huh? I am indeed. Okay, that's it for Celebrity Apex. Awesome ship. Mm -hmm. I would definitely cruise this one again. Yeah, been a great ship. Been a nice, relaxing weekend. Nice healing for Jason's shoulder. Yes. I've had some serious rehabilitation time on this cruise. All the hot tubs, all the pools are awesome for shoulder therapy. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Let's jump off this thing. They're trying to kick us out. We're getting a late start. Let's go. So that's pretty cool. We're getting off the ship late. I literally said last call and we're seeing the ship being loaded for the next of voyage. That's neat, I've never seen that. Sometimes it makes more sense to spend an extra night after the cruise and fly home the next morning. That was our case here. So we've got an 8 a.m. flight. We found a nice hotel. And check this out, this is a brand new hotel. It is the AC Hotels Marriott. And we are right here by the airport and the cruise port. And this is in Dania Beach. But look at this room, come on. So in this room, we have a big king size bed and across from the bed, I love this TV because we're getting really spoiled to hotels and cruise ships that allow you to stream from your Netflix and Prime and everything and this TV will do that. And I love that it says, good evening, Elisa and Jason. So it's programmed to know who we are and that we are here. That's cool. And it feels very intimate. It does, I love that. This room also has a living space, so you've got a couch and a table, a desk to work with. So if you're like us and bring your computers with you, there is a desk to work on. I love, love, love this bathroom. It's very modern, very clean, massive shower, smooth countertops. I just love the clean decor of this. It's got a square toilet. I've never seen a square toilet before. This room has a massive picture window here. And from this window, I can look down and see the pool. I can look over past that building and see the airport, which planes are taking off like every couple of minutes. And they're gone for the day, but if you look even further, you can see the, see the cruise ships. So we are really close to everything, but um, we wanted to wait till later in the day to get you know, the right ambiance to record. Yes. So the ships are gone, yeah. but they were here when we got here today. And hopefully maybe we can see some in the morning before we leave. If you're interested in this hotel for your stay in Fort Lauderdale, there's gonna be a link down in the description. And that's it for us. We are out of here in the morning. 
off to our next adventure. Bye. Alisa gave me the chili pepper out of her um, quesadilla. I mean, Alisa gave me the quesadilla. <laughs> when you come to Nachi Kokomo. Kokom. Huh? Nachi Kokom. Hi. Right. And action!